so far. In fact, one or two surprises in the figures. Some parts of Scotland have had very nearly twice the normal rainfall, and most of it has been rained too, not all that much in the way of snow so far. Northern Ireland were well boringly standard, at least in meteorological terms, and the surprise with England and Wales is that it has been a thoroughly mild month with temperatures more than a degree Celsius up and normal. That may not seem much to you, but it's, it seems a lot to us right through the month. And the chart, I think, shows the reason for that. It's these southwesterly winds, and those are going to be with us for some time. So no immediate return to general winter. But just behind me, there's a low forming near the Azores, and you can see on the satellite picture that there's quite a shield of cloud around that too, and that is going to rush towards southwestern parts of Britain. That's the chart for tomorrow evening, and that will spread more heavy rain into parts of the southwest of Britain after dusk tomorrow, after dark tomorrow. Rain, strong winds, heavy rain too in some parts. So just a temporary respite, uh, 24 hours in some parts, with this little ridge of high pressure. Central Scotland will have this front right throughout the period, although that front will gradually become weaker as we go through the next 24 hours. Let's come back to tonight. Still some pretty heavy showers about, especially in southern parts of Britain, and pretty gusty showers they are as well. Uh, while stop over Scotland, some uh, thicker cloud and some more, rather more persistent rain. In fact, some rather more persistent sleet in parts of central Scotland and driving snow too up over the high ground. Quite unpleasant conditions up over the highlands there tonight. As we go through the night, the showers continuing in the south, I think, uh, some getting right through to the east, but parts of southern Scotland gradually becoming drier as well. Now, on the positive side, the temperature's staying on the positive side, except perhaps in Shetland, where they might just grab a touch of frost through the night. The rest of us, well, 4 Celsius is 39 Fahrenheit in Scotland, 6 in the south is 43 Fahrenheit. But quite a windy night, uh, quite gusty winds, uh, gale force gusts at times in southern districts. In the morning, the country divides into two. Central and northern Scotland, dull and cold, with rain or possibly sleet in places. Northern Ireland, uh, southern Scotland, England and Wales, here a mixture of some sunshine and cloudy patches and some showers as well. Most of the showers in the west, but some getting through to the east. As we go through the day, the showers becoming fewer and lighter in southern districts, but then after dark tomorrow, cloud and wind getting back into southwestern districts, and some of that rain could become heavy by tomorrow evening, tomorrow night as well, uh, and give a return to rather dodgy conditions in parts of the southwest. Temperatures, well, still pretty cold over Scotland. Five is just 41 Fahrenheit, but most of us, temperatures well up and normal. Eight in southern Scotland is 46. Ten in the south there is 50 Fahrenheit, and not just as windy as it is just at the moment. Finally, rather a showery summary of all that. That's it. Good night.